What's up guys, it's Katie with s &B, and I'm outside today to install our particle separator on the Wildcat XX. So let's get started. You're gonna start off by loosening and removing the four screws in the cargo bed. After you've removed the screws, you're gonna remove the cargo bed from the vehicle. It's easiest if you pick it up from the center. Now that you have access to the air box, loosen the clamp that's attached to the air box inlet boot. Next, we're gonna slide down the clamp and remove the air box inlet cover. You're gonna to wanna to set it on something sturdy, something that you don't mind destroying because you are gonna cut a hole in it later. And we're doing that in order to gain access to the air inlet boot, which we're then gonna remove. Now slide off the cover. It was kind of hard to see on camera, but how I removed the air inlet boot from the vehicle was I pushed it up, pushed it over to the side, pulled it down, which I found easier to do from the top, and then pulled it towards myself. Now we're gonna move along to the cover and we're gonna start by cutting out the template along the dotted lines. You do wanna cut around the circle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do need the center. Before we drill the hole, we're gonna align the template on the inlet cover. We used a couple pieces of scrap cardboard to make sure that it's in the exact location. Center punch the drill bit location. Take an eighth inch drill bit and drill through the center point that you just made. Now take a quarter inch and drill through the same hole. The reason why you did the pilot drilling is because the hole saw tends to wander. So just center it and go slow. Take a razor blade and clean off the excess burrs. Once it's all cleaned up, you're gonna reinstall the air intake cover. Take the two number 40 hose clamps and put them on the air box inlet. Install the tube shroud all the way up to the groove and then install the coupler. This tube shroud was designed so you can place the tube in any direction. Just make sure that the SMB filters is facing the front of the vehicle. Once you've picked the direction, you can then install the intake tube onto the air box. Slide the hose clamps in the appropriate location and then tighten them down. Now we're gonna install the clamp on the roll cage and we like to protect it from scratching by putting down a little plastic. Now we're gonna install the pivot body using the provided hardware into the clamp and don't tighten it down just yet. Now we're gonna secure the adapters to the side of the particle separator using Loctite and a four millimeter Allen. We installed the L brackets onto the adapters on the particle separator. We tightened one side down, but we left one loose so we can determine the angle. You can install the particle separator in various locations, but for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna install it straight back. So once you've determined the angle, you can go ahead and tighten down the other L bracket, and then you can install them onto the pivot bodies. Once you have it in place, you can secure down the particle separator. Don't forget to tighten down the clamps. Install the flexible ducting onto the intake tube and then measure it to where you wanna cut it. You're gonna to wanna to leave about three inches. Puncture the flexible ducting in between the two wires and cut all the way around. Once you've cut all the way around, you're gonna take a pair of wire cutters and break it apart. Once you've installed both clamps, you're gonna then install them on the ends of the flex ducting. Install one side onto the intake tube and tighten the clamp. And then install the other end onto the particle separator. And then tighten down the clamp. Next, we're gonna remove the center console cover by turning this knob and pulling it out. Now you're gonna disconnect the negative and the positive terminals on the battery. So there's gonna be four connections on the wiring harness. This one's gonna hook up to the particle separator. This one you're gonna hook up to the posi tap. And if this one does have a ring terminal, you're gonna cut and then strip it. And then these two are gonna hook up to the battery. The one with the fuse box is gonna hook up to the positive and the one without is gonna hook up to the negative. We went ahead and installed the posi tap onto the accessory wire and then you're gonna insert the stripped end 
inside and tighten it down. Install the wiring harness on the positive and negative terminals on the battery. Now that you've installed the wiring harness, before you make sure everything's in place, we're gonna wanna make sure that the fan connection actually works. You're good to go. Now we're gonna take the fan connector and put it through that little hole and make sure you sneak it all the way through. Since it's a little hard to see, in order to get this wire over here, I had to pull it from back there, route it through here, and then up through this hole over here, and then we'll be able to connect it. Once the wiring harness is in place, you're gonna to wanna to tidy it up a little bit using the provided zip ties, and then you'll just put it down in this little pocket before you reinstall the cover. So we're almost done. We're just gonna reinstall the cover and then reinstall the cargo bed. Don't forget to tighten down the hand screws. To make the installation a little bit cleaner, we zip tied the connector to the L bracket and the wire to the roll bar. All right, so that's it. That's the install of our particle separator on the Wildcat Double X. So I hope this video helped you, but if it didn't, you can always give us a call or you can chat us in on our website, and I'll see you next time.